before you eat or you get the dog. Teach it. <laughs> and no, you don't have to get a relationship. They get the guy on your emotions. Yes. They affected how you respond. Yes. So when God tells you to move left, you got to consider how they feel. Yes. Can I give you a tip? Yes. I'm going to be done in five minutes. Yes. I normally park a disc gift to people, and I'm going to do it this morning. For those of you who never got it, I'm imparting on you the gift of goodbye. Yeah. It's the same spiritual gift. They don't, they don't know just one in the Bible. You got to learn how to tell Negroes goodbye. Yeah. At some point in your life, you got to learn how to say, let the Lord watch between you and I. It's been great, baby. I love it. Bum, bum, bum. It's been good. But right now, I got something else to do. I got a word for the Lord. He gave me instruction, so I don't want to see you no more. Yeah. That's why some of you are paying right now. You don't know how to say goodbye. I release it to you. Yeah, yeah. Take a deep breath and you're going to get on the phone and say, you know what, I just got a revelation. I don't need you no more. <laughs> so the first thing he did was, he got people all the time. The next thing was, second thing you can't do, you have to be careful that you don't allow the people that you have been appointed to lead to pull you away from the God who's leading you. On the people he had been appointed to lead. Right. He took the focus of the God who was leading him. Yes. Wow. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. Church leaders, yeah. leaders at your job, leaders in your home, put your focus on the one who's leading you. Yeah. Because when you put your focus on them who you're supposed to lead, they gonna confuse you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> wow. Did I say something for you? Or? When, 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 when you're going to have success Ooh, and obey God, your focus has got to be on the one who you're following, not the one who's following you. On, they can make the choice to follow you or not. You can't do nothing about it. Yes. Listen, I, listen, you leaders, don't waste your time and anything you're trying to hold on to people who are ready to go. Come Let on. them go. Because if they stay, all they can do is cause problems. Yes. Let them go. That's what they want to talk Did you call so and so? Child, please. You think I ain't got nothing better to do with my time than to call some nigga who left the church? I'll see them when they come back. So all y'all in like that, but it's the truth anyhow. I can't waste my time trying to call those who, 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 who think it's time for them to go. Amen. I need to be focused on y'all who here trying to put something in y'all to get y'all going forward. Yes. You cannot put your focus on them who just gave you the lead. Okay, I hate you. Don't take the focus of the guy who gave you the job yes. and put all the focus on the job. Amen. That's true. That's real good. That's real good. I'm just going to preach that, don't take the focus of the God who ordained the relationship yeah. and put it all on the relationship. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Don't take the focus, I've seen it all the time, of the God who gave it the thought yeah. and put it all on the car. Yeah. You know many folks have seen that new cars in church and stop coming to church because they didn't want to give somebody a ride? Yeah. They've been riding the people all for two years. They I don't want nobody riding my new car. Yeah, no, no. Get a ride. Thing he did is I get ready to close. Tell the truth. If he put his focus on what was given mm -hmm. and not the giver, That's right. he began to worship the creature mm -hmm. and not the creator. Yes. So now he finds himself in turmoil because he don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. Do I please God or do I please these people? Do I respond God's way or do I let them see that I'm the man of angry? I know. Wow, that's I, know. Good. I, know. I need to get that peace right here for myself and let me show you something right now. Right? <laughs> You keep obeying God, yes. or you show the people you're in charge. Yes. Moses' mistake was, he said, I'm going to show y'all. Yes. Do we need to get in water on this rock? I'm going to show y'all how I can do it. Yes. And the third thing is, am I helping y'all here? Yes. If you're going to obey, you got to obey. Yes. No, no, listen, it, ain't no, it ain't no compromise. Your life is a life of obedience, but God said move. Yes. The third thing that I want to ask you this morning, here's what happened with Moses. You, Moses had a history with God. God, he had been in this situation before. At that time, God said to him, strike the rock. Woo! It'll give you water. Woo! So here he is. Watch this. This is the biggest part of his message. Woo! Oh, I'm talking to 15 people here. So here he is in the same situation. But now God is asking him to do something different. Jesus, Jesus. Come on now. Are you willing to do something different? When faced with the same thing you was in last time, knowing that what he told you then worked out good.
good. They didn't have a second again. They didn't get that. Are you ready? Because when he struck the rock, it worked. So you know his mind to tell him, man, the last time I struck the rock, it is work. Are you willing, Miss Vickers, when God brings you the same experience and gives you another instruction, when you know what he told you last time works? You got to be grown to deal with this kind of stuff here. God said, Moses, I know. The last time I told you to strike him, but this time I want you to do it to glorify me. When you speak, I'm going to make it happen. So I'm going to die again. I don't want you to participate in this one. <laughs> if I had two people who understood what I was saying, that this time God tell you to do something different. Last time he told you to leave, this time he told you to stay. Same situation. The last time he told you to move, this time he told you to move. Same thing. Same situation. 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 This time he's saying stay. I'm talking to someone. I can't stand this job. These people don't like me. But I'm telling you right now, God's saying stay. Mm. For the five of y'all who think about leaving your job, the Lord sent me here to tell you, stay. Y'all have heard me preach so many times. It's time to leave that job. That's what he's saying then. Right now he's saying stay. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, yes. yes. But that's all my shopping apostle. The Lord says stay. That's what he says. I don't really need the money. Stay! Yeah. I'm going to glorify myself in your life at that job. I'm going to move some people out of the way. They show you the move you are. They show you who I really am at that job. If you stay and believe me, I'm going to give you increase before you was president at that job. I'm going to give you peace in your mind, peace in your heart. I'm going to give you a reputation at that job. And right now you feel like you're on the PR. And God can ready to promote you if you allow him to glorify himself in your life. If you, if you hear what I'm saying, just want to say that. Yeah. I'm done. What do you do? When you try to leave the last relationship and it turned out good. And this time he tell you, don't leave. Hmm. You got a word last month to leave. Now God is saying, get back in touch. Because what I had to do in them, I need a month to do it. <laughs> so when you come back, you don't know what I got to shout. I know what I'm under the Lord God. See, sometimes God will take you away from a situation yes. to fix a situation for your return. Yes. But you get so caught up in the flesh and your emotions. I ain't going like that. I'll never talk to her again. I'll never talk to him again. Now, next thing you know, you're missing your purpose of destiny. Yes. I feel like I'm preaching your mission. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Are you willing to do something different yes. when faced with the same experience? Yes. 